Hi everyone, so today I want to show you how to plot a graph. Okay, how to plot a graph using Scilab. Okay, so first let me show you. We want to plot a graph of a function fx equals to exponent x and the interval is from 0 to maybe 5 or maybe 10 0 to 10 okay and then we want to um, by the table see this expansion okay so we have p1 this is the uh, Taylor polynomial of degree 1 which is 1 plus x we want to plot this graph too and then p2x for the exponent, we have 1 plus x plus x2 over 2 factorial. And then P3x, we have 1 plus x plus x2 over 2 factorial plus x3 over 3 factorial. P4x is given by 1 plus x plus x2 over 2 factorial plus x3 over 3 factorial plus x4 over 4 factorial. Okay, so what we want to do here, we want to show that as the polynomial get higher degree, the solution will be close to our original function here, expo fx equals to exponent x. Now, um, to plot this graph, I'm going to use a software called Scilab. Okay, so let's open my Scilab. It's in the bottom of the uh, menu bar here. So this is my Scilab 6.01 console. Okay, if you look at this page here, we have the Scilab console. This is the uh, console. Is the console and if I go to this maybe you can see or you can also go to application sign note okay sign note is where you can save all your work okay console is just what's like a calculator okay so now what i want to do here i want to show you how to plot all these um graphs just now all the uh, function okay so you can uh, use this double red color dash as a command to type here to plot a graph proper for fx equals to exponent x okay so what we have here we need to have um the x data start from 0 to 10 okay what is this these are all the values of x from 0 to 10 okay and, uh, and then we have the y which is a function exponent x okay you can put a semicolon okay at the end of your um, sentence okay now what we do here this is the function y the exponent is written as expx okay let me just put a comment. Do not write s e to the power x. This is this is wrong. Okay. Not do do. Okay, we want to exponent s e to the power x. Okay, and if you have a sine x, you just do sine x. If you have cos x, you have cos x, and so on. Okay, where y is the function okay now to plot the graph you do plot p l o t x dash y okay that's as simple as that 
and then go to this execute button save and execute okay when you uh, press that it will ask you to save your file okay so you can save it as plot plot example okay plot example or any name doesn't matter that you remember make sure you save it in a folder okay so this is the graph of exponent x you can see that the dots here you cannot see the dot you cannot see the 10 values of x here so i am going to add the data so b for blue zero dash what it mean it will give me that's all the values of x see that i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten values for um x x from zero to ten okay so i can add the increment if i had increment 0 0.1 that means my data will be more so i have 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 and so on so my graph will be much smoother so let's close it and run it again there you go see these are all the values for x you have okay now um this term here well, let me just put something so b is usually stand for blue color you can also choose r for red you can have m for magenta you can have y for yellow and um so on yeah you can continue with um any other okay and this uh, dash here, the circle here, you can also change with a diamond or square and so on. Okay, so what we want to see here, we want to see, we want to also plot the P1, P2 up to P4. So let's write here, P1 equal to 1 plus X, P2 equals 1 plus X plus X, power 2 over 2. Okay, when you have a power for x, because x is a vector here, when you want to do a power for a vector, you must put a dot in the before the power sign. Okay, now p3 equal to 1 plus x plus x power 2 over 2 factorial plus x power 3 over, what is 3 factorial is 6. Okay, and then P4 equals to 1 plus X plus, just copy the whole thing, it's easier. And then we need to add power 4 plus X to the power 4 over 4 factorial is 24. Okay, so this is... um. Taylor series of fx of exponent x. You can write it just to remember for degree one. Okay, and this is for degree two, degree three, degree four. Okay, so what I'm going to show here is we want to show. Let me just remove this thing. Okay, I want to show. The behavior of this uh, polynomial okay so to sketch next okay i can do okay let me just remove this okay put a comma here x comma p1 okay let's reuse read color to represent p1 and then I have x comma p2 to represent green with the these will be the symbol for diamond and then I have x comma p3 
can you what can you think of i can put um m with a square square is s and then i can have what else color okay x comma p4 okay my windows are getting uh, bigger and bigger here just move it a little bit okay p4 and that will be let me see um you can also have c c is for all black black will be k k for black k triangle dash okay so this is what we have see um, make sure the colors that you see is different or different uh, symbol you have here okay so now what we do here you can uh, you can put a legend so you know what you are doing actually uh, what you are plotting so the legend will be first will be my fx second will be my p1 every time you put a legend you have to have um, the quotation it doesn't matter whether it's a single or double usually it doesn't matter okay and then we have p2 and then we have p3 oops and then we have p4 okay just check you have the quotation correct okay there you go and then you can start pressing the execute button so let me see what we have there you go all the graphs okay oh this is the blue this is the four you see that degree four it's only close when the x is close to five but not up to ten so you need higher degree to reach up to ten to get it exact but let me just change the interval now instead of ten maybe i can make it three okay x from zero to three and then press the execute button there you go look at that okay so we have I, I need to put a dash here there's no dash in the diamond green x put a dash dash will represent a line okay let me just run it again okay so i have this graph here if you look this is my fx this is my polynomial degree 4 degree 3 degree 2 degree 1 so to get the exact solution i need at least p 6 or 5 maybe you can try it at home okay try to uh, plot for p5 and p for and so on okay i don't have much time left let me see um for this up to p4 here we have shown you so my um recording will stop when it's 15 so i have one minute a minute or so okay so what i want to tell you here as your homework you can Homework. <clears throat> plot the graph of polynomial up to p6 continue and then show show that um, fx equals to exponent x is equivalent to p6 okay that's all for today so see you next time thank you